What's going on, everybody? So this is the PDM, and as I said on the old uh, YouTubes recently, maybe one of the Tech Tuesdays or the various videos, I was going to make a little informational video about how you hook this thing up. Well, here it is. Now, I've seen a few things on the internet about some people not really getting the idea of how to hook it up, and I think it's time for me to screen record my computer and then kind of walk you through a few of the things that you might want to take into consideration because it's, you know, the instructions are there, but maybe they're not too clear. I did write them after all, so you know how my writings go. Anywho, so one of the th biggest things I see is people not knowing how to make the main relay. Now, the MRD, this, this guy right here, I'll use my valve pin right here to point at this right here. So the MRD is a ground trigger. This is the main relay. It'll turn on V main one and V main two and V main three. And I'll show you in the circuit over here on my screen record. If we look right here, MRD, you can see right here, this is the ground side of these relays. Now they're not really relays, but we did that to simplify exactly. We didn't want to draw out a transistor and talk about all that stuff. So we just made it look like a relay in the schematic. But this MRD right here, if you connect it to the ground trigger wire for the main relay off of the harness, it's going to pull in this one, this one, and this one. You notice this one's on its own separate circuit, V main one, which is indicated here, which is right there. So this is on a 20 amp fuse for F4 all by itself. This is going to be your main power that's going to, you know, bring the voltage to the system as it goes. So anyways, MRD triggers these two right here, and you can see right here, MRD triggers all three of these wires. So it's going to put out 12 volts here, here, and here if this is triggered to ground from the ECU. Now let me get over here to the wiring schematic. Now this is the kill shot. A lot of other systems very similar to this. This is the main relay right here, and this is the MRD wire. This is the wire that triggers this relay and takes the power that goes through the fuse and splits off. You see how they're tied together? It makes it a ground-triggered relay. Um, so you'll get a ground signal from this, from the ECU, which will activate the relay and send power down to this V main, this big power wire. So if you're going to hook this PDM up, um, don't worry about it, but you know, if you cut this wire, number two, and then wire it to the MRD right here, it's going to send power out these things. You'll take this number four right here, this wire, and connect it to V main one so that whenever it gets that signal, it's putting power out for the rest of the system. Not a big deal. I will make a new supplementary document that goes into the instructions that has all these things highlighted with a little notes tab over here next to it, just so you get a better idea of this triggers this relay and on the P uh, PDM, this triggers this relay, these two things with the fuses. So, pretty clear on that, not a massive deal. When it comes to the fuel pump, we got a fuel pump relay, and see right here, number two, this is the trigger wire for it. If you follow it all the way up, you'll see it says relay pump right there. It's a black 20 gauge wire relay pump. You follow it on over, follow it down, bam, right there, number two that is going to be sending power out to your pump. Now, if you are getting rid of the fuses and relays in this system, cool. You have to unloom some stuff. If you modify it, as long as you're modifying only these things associated with these main relays and fuses to use this to clean up your wiring under the hood, I'm not going to fault you for that. I'm not going to beat you up if it comes down to, you know, hey, I've got a warranty on the thing. I followed your instructions. I still have some of the problem. I'm not going to be too critical on that warranty replacement because I'm telling you that, yes, you can snip this wire, snip this wire, snip that wire. It's a very easy process. But that doesn't invite you to go and cut everything else as it goes because you're really getting rid of these relays and fuses to use this PDM right here in their place to clean up all kinds of cool voltage. So we'll get back. So this one right here, Snip that number two, it's going to go on our pump. That's where it's going to go. It's going to connect to that R pump right there. This is this is the ground trigger for turning on this pump positive over here. So this will run off to your pump, 
or if you're going to run both wires from this right here off to your pump, you can totally do that too. This ground is connected to the rest of the grounds that's connected to this negative battery terminal. This goes to the negative side of the battery. This goes to the positive side of the battery. Nothing wild. Your ignition switch will come in here. I'll explain it in the diagram in a second as well. And then it's going to have some filtering internally and also LED indicators. Don't, don't forget those. That way you know what's on and what off. So switch 12 volt here. It filters and turns on ignition switch one, two, and three. So you can have your uh, kill shot ECM or jackpot or whatever you use in your ignition box over here, or your trans controller over here, and they're all clean. Or if you're running like a Hall Effect distributor, you can run it on that too. And it's just nice, clean, tidy voltage, nothing wild. So that's 12 volt input. These are 12 volt outputs, nice and clean and filtered. I'll show you in the thing over here. We scroll her down and you can see that right there is positive input. And this side of the coil on the relay is grounded. So it's going to come in with your dirty uh, switch 12 volt off of whatever source you got going on and it will pull that relay in and send clean voltage that gets filtered through here out to each one of these ignition switch sources. That's epic. I really like that a lot. So there's not a whole lot more, you know, the R pump right here, we talked about that. That gets triggered. It pulls it in and does that. And this R pump back to this right here is this number two wire on your fuel pump relay. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I actually modified my harness to get rid of the relays and fuses. It looks very, very pretty. I'm going to have Reed, our lovely camera guy, um, snap a picture of my modified harness uh, to show you just how nimble the harness is. I'll take all the insulation off so you can see that it's like a lot less wiring, a lot less volt going on um, with that harness. But hopefully this is clarifying some stuff up for you guys. You can see there's just a lot of ex extra stuff that can just straight up go away. That fuse, this, that, and the other, this thing comes in, that fuse is gone. Not a, not a crazy deal, because this right here, you're going to be getting that power, as if you trace it in, it goes through that fuse, it goes into this relay, and it gets distributed back up, back up this direction. So, instead of doing all that mess, you just snip that V main one, connect this MRD, connect this fuel pump over here to R pump, and then start hooking the rest of your stuff up. Um, so in that supplementary document that I'm going to be making, uh, I'm going to redo that one drawing that was a combination of we need to get something out and really kind of define each, each one of the paths about negative pump, positive pump, maybe a little bit about it. This is, I mean, it's, it's a ground, it's a ground, that's a ground. This is a ground, this is a ground. This, from point to point, this goes straight through. There's no filtering, no triggering of it. It's just, you know, to keep your, your harness nice and tidy when you lay them out. So that, that's pretty much the, the what's to, because I've seen some comments of some people with a little bit of confusion. Hopefully this video uh, helps to, to clarify that a little bit more. My, my screen moved all by itself. That's amazing. So if you're hooking it up, your switch 12 volt goes in here. It outputs three sources for clean voltage. Awesome. Your trigger wire for your main relay goes to MRD. It'll turn on all your V mains. V main one is the most important. You can see right here, it's all by its lonesome. This is going to be that big fat wire on the harness that comes off of that relay. You can snip it, attach it here. As long as this is sending power to the ECU, you're solid because it, it just does a great job. This R pump right here, this is going to turn your fuel pump on. It's your trigger wire for your fuel pump relay. Put it in there. You can wire your whole pump or one, you know, your positive lead ultra pump or however you're going to do it. And the same thing here. Relay one and two, if we look back at the wiring schematic, it's a ground trigger for relay one and two. And that's just going to be some kind of an auxiliary relay that you're going to do anything else with. So if you want it to come on with something else, you can wire it in, in such a manner that it's either going to ground trigger uh, and turn something on. You can use it for an extra fan if you want to. If you have like a fan one, which we have in here, or if you want to hook up your fan two and just use the relay, R-L-Y, one or two or what have you not, you can just put your fan, like fan two, on relay one and fan one on R fan. So... It's, you know, all the appropriate connections are labeled over here of, 
you know, what, what that's going to be. This is a ground and this is a positive output. This is a ground and this is the positive output for, you know, V relay 2, V relay 1, and then we have fan negative and fan positive. All these right here, now keep in mind that this is only on a 30 amp, but you can do it on a 30 amp and it's not the biggest deal depending on what systems you're putting in there. So if you got electric water pump you want to tie into here and it's not pulling a huge amperage, you got a, you know, a fan that's not going to pull uh, 30 amps accumulated with the rest of them, it's, it's totally fine. But you can do extra things with these if you really like. So hopefully this, uh, this makes a bunch of sense. Hopefully I'm explaining it good. If not, drop a comment and let me know that I explained it terribly or what have you not. But I just want to get the most information on explaining how to do this. So, so anyways, we're going to be using one of these PDMs in our big block Camaro. Um, we're going to be wiring it in. It, it, it is extra stuff to do, but we are going to be modifying the harness appropriately. And I'll show you in that video the appropriate modifications and I'll show these diagrams as well in that video when we install it. We want to make it nice and clean and look really, really cool under the hood because it's a really cool car and we've been doing a lot of testing. And this is going to allow us the expandability to do other stuff without having to hunt down more wires in the system or add in more relays or do anything. We can keep it real clean and tidy and nice under the hood because, yeah, it is a test vehicle, but honestly, we're going to drive at the car shows and we kind of, you know, this would look pretty sweet mounted somewhere in a fender. So I do hope this video helps. Uh, like I said, if you got any other questions, we can come back and hit you up with some comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. Pump, V mains, uh, relays, fans, you know, the fuses. That, that's the, my favorite part is the type of transistors we use in this do a lot of voltage, uh, do a lot of amperage because they're IGBT transistors. But the only thing I've managed to damage on these things, short circuiting it, over volting it and a bunch of other stuff is just pop fuses. That's it. But if you hook them up right, they're fantastic units to do. You do have to modify the, your current harness. The future harnesses will have the allowance to be able to just plug those things in, tighten up the screws, and then wire the rest of your car real nice and smooth. It's just that, you know, we're trying to, you know, think about the future and also help out our previous customers with these units to help clean up voltage and help clean up under the hood, even though there is a little bit of extra stuff to do concerning these. I like these things, but hope that helps.